More businesses on the I-69 corridor in Fishers to open soon. John Tuohy forward slash Indistar an exterior view of the Marsh Supermarket at 116th and Alisarville Roads in Fishers, photo, Matt Dietrich, Idiopolis Star, by photo. The Fishers City Council passed an ordinance this week that appears to put it on a collision course with Croger Company. The council voted 8 to 1 Monday to require shuttered grocery stores to remain supermarkets when the sites are redeveloped unless the city gives special permission for another retail use. The intent is to avoid what the city considers undesirable development at the hulking buildings, such as flea market or dollar stores. As these sites transition in use, there is a growing concern that they may be used for a variety of unwanted uses before the new commercial standards and uses are adopted, a report by the city's planning department read. More, two street Elmo spin-offs first to sign up for the yard dining district in Fishers. More, rooftop bars are coming to Carmel and Adiapolis. Croger opposes the council measure because Company officials say it intrudes on the company's ability to compete in the open market. The ordinance could put Croger in the position of having to sell a recently acquired Marsh store to a competitor if it doest reopen the store as another Croger. What the city wants to impose would devalue our property and restrict our freedom to do business, Croger spokesman Eric Haverso said in a text to Indistar. We would like the city of Fishers to re-evaluate its zoning concept. Vacant stores became a concern when Marsh Supermarkets declared bankruptcy earlier this year and closed 44 DR stores. Croger bought 11 stores, including the lease at 1 at 116th Street and Brooks School Road in Fishers. But the company is uncertain about whether it will reopen it as a Croger and market analysts have said the company may have gobbled it up to prevent another grocery from opening there. In a couple of years, the Croger at 116th Street and Alisarville Road will be vacated when the company moves into the abandoned Marsh building across the street. The owner of Fisher's Crossing Shopping Center next to the soon-to-be-shuttered Croger fears the city ordinance will result in abandoned stores staying vacant for longer than they normally would. This would mean that the property would remain vacant in perpetuity, rendering the properties useless and creating significant economic impact to us as the shadow anchor to the property, Jerry Wise, of Brad Management, Los Angeles, wrote the city in an email. This would severely impact our property as well as all the surrounding retail parcels, potentially creating a blighted corner. Wise could not be reached for further comment. The ordinance would also apply to a closed marsh at 96th Street and Lantern Road that Croger did not buy. How these sites transition is critical for the vibrancy of nearby neighborhoods and our city the planning report states, adding that homeowners associations adjacent to the stores support the ordinance. Representatives of the three HOAs the report cited did not respond to requests for comment.